right, all right, guys. Welcome to React and Chill on this channel. And there's two things I like to do. Sit around and talk about music, and I'm going to be doing that here with you guys. If you like that, press the like button and subscribe. We talk about baby metal. I want to ask you, what are some songs that really surprised you? And what I mean by that is, uh, what are some songs that went in a completely different direction than what you were expecting? Uh, another way to phrase that would be, during some point of the song, probably midway through, the song went in a completely different direction or added an element that was very surprising. You were not expecting that. Now, so what I don't mean is a song that surprised you from beginning to end. Like, okay, that I don't necessarily mean. With like how beautiful it is, whatever. I can, that's not exactly what I mean. I mean like the song, like you thought it was going to be one way, but it changed. Or it surprised you with an element that you were like, whoa, what's that? Kind of specific here. But I think you could think of a few. No script for this. Can I list them off the top of my head? You let me know. They're kind of like yours, okay? We'll, we'll share in the comment section. I'll be there with you guys. But what I'm thinking here, and this I think might give you a good example of what I'm thinking of here. Ine. Ine. The song that a lot of reactors call Line. <laughs> uh, right? <laughs> right? Just about every reactor has made that mistake. Probably still to this day. And you know what? And I think, I think there's a particular app uh, I, I use YouTube a lot for, for music, and I think it has it as an L instead of an I, capital I. So, and I, I think that was on YouTube. I think so. If you use the YouTube music, I think it's set like that. I think. I don't know if that's been corrected. Anyway, but you know what I'm talking about. You know, it's a very fun song. It's a very fun techno metal song. I love that stuff, but that's not what surprised me. The surprise is the rap part. And the reason why I wouldn't say like songs like Papa Yaw is because that's kind of expected with F Hero. If you know who F Hero is, I suppose. If you don't, then I may, maybe maybe it did surprise you. But Ine, definitely a really good example of a rap portion coming out out of nowhere. And... This is like one of the earlier songs. And, I, dude, when I heard that, I was like, what am I hearing? Keep in mind, Ine was not my first exposure to baby metal. My first exposure was, um, I want to say, Catch Me If You Can, the live version with the uh, with the intro, with the, with the comedy band intro. I was really blown away by that. And I got into, like, Headbanger and Give Me Chocolate, things like that. When I got into Ine, I was expecting more techno metal. And I, Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So when this rap part came in, I was like, what is going on? Is this actually happening? It Like, this is a crazy combination. Like, when I first heard it, I'm going to be honest with you, I was like, does this really fit? Can they do this? Can these little girls rap? What? Can they do this? And they did it. Of course they, of course they could do it. Of course they could do it, right? <laughs> they did it, and they pull it off. And then that's a, it's a, it's a moment that I think it goes well with the song. It's, it's a moment where the song kind of like it, you know it gets in there. It kind of like stops and goes right into into the rap part. And from that it. There's a nice a segue back into the uh, I guess the the main kind of party metal sound, which which is very fun. But the rap part, it has some it has some length to it. It's nice, you know. It's like okay, I'm feeling this, I'm feeling the vibe of this. I'm liking it. But that is a that is a song that really surprised me. I was not expecting it to go in that direction at all. Another example would be uh, Megasune. Megasune. Uh, the the thing that surprised me about the song that I was not expecting was, well, a song like that would, you know, how heavy it is and a little techno stuff going on there, the industrial stuff. The breakdown, I was not surprised by the breakdown, 
but by the sound, but the sound of the pig squilling or whatever that's supposed to be, that's what it sounds like, right? You know, you know what I'm talking about. It was like, <laughs> like that, that, that whole part, that whole part was like, what? It surprised me. I was not expecting that to be in there. And every now and then when I hear, I'm like, that sounds like a ballsy move. That sounds like a risky move. Because you think about what Baby Metal is reaching for, the audience, like like the people who come from, like, I guess, the pop side, that stuff, that sort of sound, that sort of element could be off-putting. But, I mean, the proof that it's not is the fact that Baby Metal is as successful as they are. So, there you go. Well, that did surprise me. Of course, not as much as Ine. Another wild surprise. And I think a lot of you would agree with this. I was not expecting this. I don't think anyone was. It's on the latest album. The other one. What am I going to say? You already know. You already, you could hear it in your ears right now. Yeah. Well, this song is not my favorite. This song I'm about to say is not one I really enjoy. If it wasn't for this element, I don't think this song would be would be on anyone's list. It's okay for what it is. It's kind of chill and ambient. Kind of sounds like the backing track for a Zelda game. It really does. The, the legend. The legend of Zelda. I mean, the legend. When that sweet saxophone comes in. <laughs> oh, man. When that sweet saxophone came in, I I had to go back and hear that. I was like, wait, what just happened? What Am I hearing this correctly? Are my ears hearing the sweet sounds of a saxophone being played right now? I think I am. I know, I know I had been day drinking that day when I was listening to this album. Day drinking quite a bit. And maybe, maybe whatever it was I was smoking might have might not have been uh, all American tobacco. But that was definitely a saxophone. And a very sweet, uh, smooth, even sexy. I, I the mic cut out right there. Well, we'll just allow that to be stay, stay out. It was a nice sound. It is a great sound. And it belongs in that song. In my opinion, it helps that song so much. Don't get me wrong. Sue's voice is great in that song. And I guess it serves its purpose for what you're looking for. If you want like a song that you can kind of vibe with, kind of like kind of, that song kind of like, you kind of like flow around the water when you listen to that song. You know what I'm saying? Like you're just kind of feeling it, just kind of like, you know, relaxed. It's soothing. But what makes it even better is he had that saxophone in there. And that's an element I was not not expecting at all. Was surprised. It was there. Was like, okay, you got me. And that's what I'm talking about. You could probably think of some baby metal songs. Maybe some I did not mention. Maybe there's some that I want you to mention that I'm thinking of right now. But think of some uh, Bay Metal songs that are, that's some surprising elements in it that went in a direction you were not expecting about midway through. They added a little surprise. What are those songs, man? Let me know in the comments section. I'll join you guys there. And, uh, oh, by the way, if, you're, if you've been watching them live, let me know how, well, how they are because I haven't had a chance to see them live this year. Probably won't, unfortunately. But uh, definitely, let me know how they how they pair with uh, Scene Queen. Is that is that the name of the act? But that said, you guys take it easy and have a good one.